Hey guys, I'm here in uh, Tucson in Rhonda's garage, and Rhonda and I are outside playing with some um, 3M Micron papers for baking sanding sticks, and uh, we got these from from uh, Jewel Tool, and they come in a full-size sheet, like 8x10, something like that. We cut them in half. There's four different grits that we got, and uh, this one is 9 micron, and the heaviest one is 60 micron, and where did the 15, other ones go? 15? 15. Yeah. And what else? 15? 60, 40, 9. Okay. So 9, 15, 40, 40 6. and 60 micron sheets. So the different grits on there. The 60 is the um, roughest grit. So we're going to make a few sanding sticks. And I had seen a, a video on YouTube uh, on how to put these things together. So what we did is we cut the sheets in half because we made a couple of sanding sticks already and they seem to be um, the what the full sheet well we cut the sheets in half because we're sharing them but even with a half sheet it seemed like they were pretty thick so um, uh, we oriented them a couple of different ways and I like this way a little bit long a little bit better and I'll show you how we do that uh, before we left Tucson, I had my husband cut me a bunch of sticks. I have way more than I need uh, for the amount of paper that we have here. But, um, you know, I'll just bring them home. And anyway, I just thought I would show you briefly. We've got kind of a, uh, a hinky setup here because uh, I didn't bring anything to hold my, hand, uh, my camera. And so I've got it set into a vise, the camera itself, into a vise on a chair, or on a, on a ladder, actually, and, um, and we're just doing it this way. So hopefully you'll be able to see this. Uh, I didn't do a live because I thought it would be a little bit uh, hard to, uh, to maneuver that. But anyway, I just wanted to show you how we're doing, the, how we're doing this. So um, we have some masking tape. I would suggest if you don't have masking tape to get uh, a little bit thinner. This I think is probably an inch and a half wide. An inch wide would probably be uh, better or even a half inch would be good because we ended up taking this and cutting. Uh, you cut yours in half too, right? Mm -hmm. Right, Rhonda? Yeah, we, we cut it uh, in half so it's not so much tape on the stick. Um, anyway, so what uh, what we're doing is putting the uh, let's see here. We're putting the sandpaper with the sand, sanded, the sanding side up and taking a strip of tape and taping just the very, just the very minimal, uh, amount, uh, to just cover the minimal amount of the sandpaper because we want to be able to use the majority of it. So I'm hoping I'm doing this right because I never remember. Long side. What's that? Long side. <laughs> yeah, we're putting the tape on the long side of the uh, sanding paper. And is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we're going to put that one strip of tape on the top and then one on the bottom. And the part that uh, is going to be the handle, I, I don't much care if, if it's a wider tape or not, but I, I want to um, uh, have room for my hand to hold on to it like a handle but it doesn't need to cover up the top of the stick. I don't know if I'm explaining that quite right, but all right. So now I've got the tape on both sides of the sandpaper. And 
I'm going to reverse it and then get my stick. And I'm going to trim off some of this tape because it's just too much. Here. Trim that off. And trim some of this up, up here too. Okay. And then I'm using a scribe to score the... Um, sandpaper with. You can use the back of a craft knife uh, also if you want. You don't want to cut through the paper but you want to be able to score it and I'll show you why. So I'm going to line up my stick with the very edge of the sandpaper and right at the top of the tape right here on this end and this bottom end is going to be the handle. So I'm just going to fold over the tape onto the stick, press that down, and then I'm going to take my scribe and I'm going to score the sandpaper with a pretty good pressure. Maybe I'll do it twice. I don't want to cut through the sandpaper, but I want enough for uh, to be able to turn the uh, sandpaper over onto the stick and then with that score line when your tape is or when that piece of sanding paper is used up you can just tear that off at the score line. So now I'm just going to score again. Each turn that you do you score the sandpaper at the edge of the stick. Turn it over and try to hold on to it. Uh, keep it all nice and tight and then press down your edges of your tape as you roll. And then score again. And turn it over. Press your tape edges down. Score again. This is the nine micron that I'm working with right now. I'm turn it over. And I see I'm a little uh, off being straight. I'm not too straight. Again, yeah, I'm going to end up pretty crooked on this, I think. but it should work just the same. And then score this. Oh, that actually isn't a very nice job, but... Hopefully you get the idea. What's happening out here? We're recording. <laughs> well, she's recording. So. Okay, so so then the stick is now usable. And as you sand on this side and it gets used up, you can just peel this off. And I don't want to peel it off because uh, <laughs> these things are expensive and I don't want to waste them. But you should be able to get the idea that you're just making a sanding stick just like this. And you can peel each, each little section off as it's used up. So I'm just going to keep going with it. I've just got, actually, we've just got a couple more to do. And then we're done. So just wanted to pass along this little tip. See you next time.